San Diego Unified is sending out an SOS. The district is calling on federal lawmakers to provide additional funding as they deal with the challenges because of the pandemic. News 8's Chris Groh joins us live from San Diego High School with a look at what the district is demanding. Good morning to you, Chris. Good morning, Stella, and they'll be joined by lawmakers from the Democratic side here in San Diego, also pushing for the HEROES Act to be passed. Now, that's in large part because they feel that there is obviously a lack of state revenue all up and down California, and therefore schools are going to be hurting. So let's break down a little bit more about that and then also what the HEROES Act plans to do for school districts across the country. Now, the reason why we're seeing this push from school leaders for the act is because the district and others need additional federal funding for what they call safety precautions, health reasons during the pandemic, and for resources to help curb learning loss that occurred during distance learning. Now, Democrats in the House passed the HEROES Act about 15 weeks ago. It's a second stimulus bill that totals to about $3.4 trillion. But the reason it never got to the Senate is because Republicans feel that it is too much spending. Now, they have their own stimulus bill that's about $1 trillion, but that hasn't passed either. Now, in the original CARES Act that was signed into law, schools across the country got about $30 billion, but educators said that wasn't enough, and they pushed for more in a second stimulus bill. Well, in the HEROES Act, there's $58 billion assigned to K-12 through education, and in the Republican version of that bill from the Senate, there's $70 billion earmarked for education. However, this is the key difference. Two-thirds of that money is based on the extent to which schools are holding in-person classes. So both sides are split on not only how much money to spend here on education, K-12 through schools during this pandemic to make up for the loss of state revenue, but then also how much money should be going to the states and then how that money should be distributed. But in the meantime, educators across the country, not just here in California, are saying that neither amount is really enough to fully address the issue. Again, they are calling for this money because of the expected loss an already known loss here of state revenue, especially in the state of California. So we'll be hearing their push for lawmakers to go ahead and pass the HEROES Act coming up at 10 a.m. later today here at San Diego High School. Eric Stella.